Welcome, my name is Michael Schutte and welcome to my free course Photo Bashing and Digital Painting Part 1 The Lost Fairy. Before we start, I assume you have a basic understanding of Photoshop or any other painting software you work with. So let's choose a 4K setting and we name it Fairy in Forest. What else? We choose 300 pixels and it will work fine. And if we click on this background square, it will show the color picker and we choose a soft gray background, which is very pleasant for the eyes. My plan was to create an autumn forest, with a fairy that is. So we need photos and good photos. We can find excellent photos on Envato Elements and Freepick.com and way much more. Now if you pay a small amount, you even can get a license, which might be handy if you work commercial for a client. For now, we are looking for an autumn photo on autumn forest. And I think this one will work fine. I'm not allowed to give them to you, so please look around and you will find some fantastic photos. I think I found a real cool one here and I like this even better. We hold shift and stretch it out till it fits all over the canvas. Then we want to go to filter, blur, and click Caution Blur. We choose a blur around 30%. And now we have a perfect background. You don't see any details, but that's okay. Let's choose another one. We click and hold Shift, stretch it out over the canvas, and this time we're gonna use Opacity. We push it down to about 50%. And yes, I found another one. We stretch it out, and I love the little overlays. Let's put opacity down again, and I think we have a great combination here. But we need more, and as you already noticed, I didn't make a sketch or a plan. We're just having fun stapling photos. I know it's against all odds, but what the heck as long as we're having fun, right? We're gonna take this photograph as a kind of foreground. I found it on Envato and we drag it a bit to the left. We choose L for lasso and cut out this part. Push backspace and it's gone. We turn down opacity and choose E for eraser. We're gonna fade all hard edges away till it looks really transparent. Now it looks all misty and magical. We do a few things here and below maybe a little bit. And I think for now, this is all enough. Let's see what we can do in the next section. Welcome back. It's starting to look like a magical forest, but not ready yet. I found on Ovato these worn out steps. Now let's see what we can do. Now we choose the lasso tool again and we cut out all the pieces we don't really need. If we cut out the objects with the lasso tool, be sure that this stapled sign is on. Just click on it. Because if you don't and you make a mistake, you have to start your cutting work all over again. If it's on, you make a mistake, just click Ctrl Z and you will be fine. And I know it's starting to look like stairway to heaven, but no worries, we gonna change it completely. First we click on edit and while we're holding shift, we transform the stairs. First we push it down and let's drag it to the right corner. Then we stretch it out to the left till it fits with the edge of the grass and weeds over here. Colors don't much, but no worries, we will take care of that later. We click on Edit Transform and scroll down to Warp. As promised, I will show you this in a slow, easy to follow pace. We drag the stones like wet clay till we're happy with the transition. So we warp the stairs a bit more till it all fits fine. I found another cool tree. The colors totally don't match, but we will see how we change it. 
So let's play it on, let's say, one third of the painting, just like that. First, we kind of cut it out with the lesser tool, and by now you know what to do. Then we click Ctrl J and we have a cut out copy of the tree on a new layer. Let's warp it and stretch it a bit till it all fits fine. And you will see that I use the warp tool a lot. We're going to take the magic wand tool, click on the outside of the tree on both sides and then click on select and inverse. And we have a perfect selection, which we are going to make totally black with pressing Alt and Backspace. We click Ctrl D or Deselect and we give the new layer a name and we name it Shape. Then we drag the shape layer under the original photo of the tree. We click on Alt and we have a clipping mask. Let's go and edit and warp and we can stretch out the tree till it all fits nicely in the clipping mask. And when we are happy with the result, we click on this mask sign and click a mask in the clipping mask. Then we click on a dark color, alt backspace and the tree is dark again. We choose a soft round brush and take a light color in the picker. And then the fun part is gonna start. We brush the colors back. Yeah, some people call it painting in reverse, but what the heck. The result is the most important. If we use color dodge, you will see that the light effects or doubler effect on the tree are amazing. And of course you choose a light tone in the picker. Then we can choose a darker tone and we can click multiply for extra strong shadow effects. There are always dark in and some holes in the tree like this. Let's do a few more light effects on the right side and then we can make a new layer and let's make the bark on the left side a bit more rough and draw a few short branches. In my follow-up course, which will be ready soon, we will go a bit deeper into the matter of drawing branches and so forth. For now we just do a few rough sticking out branches and that's it. But let me show you something else, a real handy trick. We take this brush and we call it the branch group. It's just a group of little small branches. Now let's see what a crazy effect. We play a bit with light and dark and pressure and you will be surprised about this fantastic brush. And again, play with the size, play with the pressure and with color, and it will add so much more to your painting. There's always a bunch of dead wood around a tree, and in forest, that underwood is an important hideaway for little animals like birds, squirrels, rats, raccoons, and whatever you can expect in a great forest like we paint here. Before we go on, let's do a little composition test. We should have done this earlier, but sometimes I'm a bit lazy about this. We go to image, scroll down to image rotation and click on flip canvas horizontal. And now we have a fresh view on our composition. And I think it's looking all pretty good. I don't see any mistakes. So we do the same trick again, go to image, down to image rotation and flip horizontal. And then we are back again where we went into. We're gonna place a ferry, but we will do this in the next lesson. See you then. <music>